Kia ora koutou kato. welcome in to session eight, the penultimate day here at the Apollo Projects New Zealand Short Course Swimming Championships. Great to have you with me, Matt Hutchins, uh, 2016 Olympian here tonight to share the commentary box with me and just recapping from this morning's action from the Hawke's Bay Regional Aquatic Centre, Matt, a few records falling, Cameron Karpik in that 100 metre breaststroke, New Zealand age group record to back up the all, uh, earlier age group records got in the meet and also Liam Curling in that 13 year old 100 freestyle 53-0, very impressive. Yeah, absolutely. Great to see some of the, the younger the younger boys getting in amongst the, the national age group records falling this week. And, you know, it's day four or five, so naturally a time where maybe uh, attentions are, are waning, energy is, is starting to fail a little bit. So, you know, great to see that intensity in those age group finals here in the morning. Um, so, you know, yeah, unfortunately for Liam Curling, I don't think 53-0 is enough to make it into the finals tonight. But, you know, Cameron Carpick will definitely get another swim with that 104 and, and another chance to take that record down. And quite an interesting uh, aspect of it that... Uh, Liam Curling's actually in the 14-year-old age group. Donald Tian uh, is lane four uh, and won the age group this morning at 53-6. So two very talented swimmers from Coast Swimming Club. Also Charlotte Murphy, New Zealand record S6 in that 50-metre backstroke. She did well as well. Looking ahead to tonight's programme, the 50-metre backstroke to kick off. Can Andrew Jeffcoat get that New Zealand record? He's in great form. We got the 100. Absolutely, and you know, he's on one of our lists of the national record watch here tonight. So just outside that record, coming off great form, making a final last week, or a couple of weeks ago over in Japan, um, you know, semi-finalist in the 100 backstroke. So looked really good this morning. The stroke rate's looking fantastic. So it's, it's whether or not he can make those adjustments and find that extra 0.2 of a second. Helena Gasson uh, there, she did a 27 this morning. That New Zealand record, 26.74. Might be maybe just out of reach at the moment uh, for her in their form this week. Yeah, no, I mean, she's been in great form. It's great to see her back healthy and swimming. And I think the same as Jeff Goat, uh, with, with the 50s, there's so much and so little room for error. So it could be an easy 0.2 of a second. It could be a really difficult 0.4 of a second. It could go either way. You know, one bad turn, one good turn makes all that difference. That's right. We then go to the turn of Butterfly. It's going to be a showdown between uh, Little John and Crampton in the middle of the field. Also, uh, Kutsia will be there as well in lane three. So a great heat swim, as we've seen from uh, Ben Little John. Yeah, Ben Littlejohn had a great opening uh, 50 this morning, 25-0 going out, looked really controlled, maybe paid for it a little bit in the back half of that 200 fly. Um, you know, a lot, Will here, you know, a little bit slower than his, his entry time of 159, so I think that field will definitely balance out a little bit here tonight, um, but it's going to be fast from the start if, if Ben Littlejohn can have his way, and I think the field's going to be chasing him. Absolutely, and the women's uh, 200 fly, Neve Tusker, of course, we talked about the, the three-peat, well, it could be more than that because she won the age group this morning. Now, potentially another open final. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you're the, the number one 200 butterfly in the country open age group, you know, when you're racing those 17 and 18, everyone's coming for you. So she's knocked it out of the park this morning. She'll be looking to do it again, making those adjustments and see how much, uh, how much difference she can make. Hara Hughes is lane four for the 100 metre breaststroke for men. He's 17. He's up against Blair Helms, the 200 metre champion. And I remember speaking to Blair Helms, he, he, I don't think he likes getting beaten by these age groupers, so he'll be going for it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, at the moment when I'm swimming, a lot of us, the ones in our, in our 20s, have a don't get beaten by a teenager rule. So not sure if that's the same approach out there, but you know, it's a little bit of pride, but always a good competition. And, and that breaststroke's looking really fast at the moment uh, from those races this morning. Monique Wierzowski, that, uh, she's in great form. Can she get that New Zealand age group record in that 100 metre breaststroke? She was 108 this morning. She's going to have to go a little bit quicker. Yeah, and you know she's got the opening 50. Uh, you know, specialist in the 50 metre breaststroke, really strong over top of the water. Um, you know, the, the pullouts, the skills, it's going to take all of it here tonight. It's just whether or not she can hold that stroke, hold that speed over that last, you know, 30, 40% of the race. And finishing at the end of the session, the 100 metres freestyle for men, Carter Swift in lane four for that event. He's got Zach Dell on one side and he's got, uh, who's he got on the other side? He's got Kyle Twist who had a good swim this morning. Yeah, and you know, another sprint freestyle, another chance for the Club 37 boys to you know, you know, flex their muscles a little bit. I think watching the race this morning, maybe Carter Swift held back a little bit in that last 10 to 15 metres, so you know he's got a little bit in the tank. Whether or not that 47-1 from his, his short course champs last year is, is in, the eyes, in his eyes or not, but we'll see, won't we? And in the women's, Erica Fairweather, believe it or not, coming down to swim the 100 metres. She is in lane four, and she did look like she was cruising this morning. Uh, Rebecca Moynihan and the 16-year-old Zoe Pedersen 
in there as well. Yeah, absolutely. All three girls in those low 54 range, the national open record sitting at around 53.5. So, you know, that's definitely uh, yeah, in danger tonight. A lot of those age group records, Zoe Peterson in the 16, that's a 53.8, I believe. So, yeah, I think there's a really good chance one of those national records goes in that race. It's going to be a very exciting evening of finals. So I hope you enjoy it. We finish with the 4 by 50 metre medley relay. We'll get underway very shortly. Apollo Projects is New Zealand's trusted specialist for the design and construction of sports, aquatics and education centres and is proud to be the principal sponsor of Swimming New Zealand. Welcome back to the coverage here of the Apollo Projects New Zealand Short Course Swimming Championships. Please put your hands together and welcome our technical officials as they make their way onto pool deck. Championships is Ron Clark. Thank you, officials. Please be seated. We'll be back after the short break for the first event on the program. It is event 29, the men's 50 metres backstroke. We know a country where the food is bountiful and the wine is beautiful where the skies are big because the horizons are wide, so the warm, gentle landscape stretches out forever. A country where the food offering spans from pick your own to picking it up from a roadside stall or a farmer's market, to taking your pick from restaurant menus that are as good as anywhere in the world. And so is the wine. This is a country that will refresh you and recharge you and just make you feel a whole lot better about things. This country is food and wine country. But you might know it as Hawke's Bay. Welcome in the first event on the programme, the C final of the men's 50 metres backstroke. Zero, Oscar Bauer. One, James Crosby. Two, Sava Karpov. Three, John Quick Kirk. Four, Kokoro Frost. Five, Teva Gehan. Six, Daniel Williams. Seven, Ethan Buchanan. Eight, Jacob Humphreys. Nine, Max Cave. The visitor taking it out, Kokoro Frost. 
takes it for the Kiwis. Oh, he's a visitor too, but an honorary Kiwi. B final coming on to pool deck now for the men's 50 backstroke. Zero, Samuel Potching. One, Fergus Edy. Two, Daniel Shilcock. Three, Samuel Trance. Four, Alex Esposito. Five, Gustav Camper. Six, Brandon Holder. Seven, Ruhutu Tiahui. Eight, Ethan McDonald. Nine, Harrison James. And a good win for Esposito there in four. Second was Camper. And third went to Trass in three. As the lanes predicted. And that's your B final. Introducing the A finalist for the men's 50 metres backstroke. Lane zero, Joseph Cordiati. Lane one, Alex Odom. Lane two, Jack Hendy. Lane three, Zach Dell. Lane four, Andrew Jeffcoat. Five, Cooper Morley. Six, Kane Follows. Seven, William Seymour. Lane eight, Keha Despores. Lane nine, Tyler Tapper. New Zealand record holder in lane four, Andrew Jeffcoat. Great start by Cooper Morley as well. Jeffcoat goes through first. 11.43, looking for a 23.46, ladies and gentlemen. 
Jeff Goat coming back strongly, winding it into the finish. He'll win it easily. He goes to it. A new New Zealand record for Andrew Jeff Goat. 23.38. He's taken eight one hundredths of a second off his own New Zealand record and continues this fantastic form. The 50 and 100. Spectacular swim for Andrew Jeffcoat. Cooper Morley gets the silver and we'll check out who got the bronze. Zach Dell takes out the bronze. Here with Andrew Jeffcoat, spectacular. Andrew, well done. A reaction from you? Yeah, it's pretty good. Nice to get a PB, obviously. Um, and there's a lot of things that I can work on for the, the relay tonight, so hopefully be able to get in and drop it again. That would be exciting. Uh, can you give us a sneak peek of what those things are? Uh, just a turn. I was a bit, bit short on the turn, I think. Um, and then just feel, just rating this morning, I didn't feel great either, but, you know, always good to get a PB, like I said. 2338. We'll leave it there. We'll look forward to seeing you in action a bit later on. Cheers, cheers. Well done to Andrew Jeffcoat. New Zealand record 50 metres backstroke. <laughs> Moving now to the next event on the program, it is the men's multi class 50 metres backstroke. Lane three, Bailey Conlon. Lane four, Jack Bugler. Lane five, Guy Harrison. Lane six is Kuda Tafai. Jack Bugler's had a great champ so far. He's taking huge chunks off his PBs and he's away quickly down the first length. He took it down from a 34.0 to a 32.5 in the heats this morning. Let's see if we can get under that. He's obviously done something quite different with his training or he's doing more of it. A 32.6, so exactly, almost exactly the same time as this morning. Bailey Conlon comes in 35.94 uh, and Guy Harrison has done a good time taking it from 38.05 to 36.99. Well done boys. Well done, Guy. You're the winner of that event. Congratulations. The gold medalist just come on a little bit closer to me. 36.99, Guy. Uh, that was a 38.0 this morning. So what did you do differently tonight? 
I just went hard. Like I went a little bit, a little bit slow in the heats and just saved myself for this afternoon. Where's all that water coming from? Your goggles. <laughs> You went to it. Well, hey, is this one of your first national titles? No, that's my first one. I mean, it's awesome to be able to get one. Um, you've been trying to do this for a while, and it's just awesome to be able to achieve this. Absolutely. First national title here. L ladies and gentlemen, put a big round of applause together. Well done. Good on you, guy. Next up is event... Number 217, the 50 backstroke men multi-class, lane three, Joseph Blake. Lane four is Joel Watkins. Lane five, Denver Xavier. Lane six, Luca Willems. So races within the races here, Joel Watkins racing Denver Xavier alongside him and then you've got Luca and Joseph in, in lanes 3 and 6 racing each other in S18. And Joel Watkins who's got that raft of supporters that he loves to thank each time I talk to him. They'll be happy with this performance, Joel Watkins coming through. A 32-1-2, that's a, a good, another big one and a half second PB for Joel Watkins. Denver Xavier touches second. And looks like Luca Willems is going to well and truly win the S18 class here. Well done, Luca. 50.23, that's a three and a half second improvement from this morning. And Joseph Blake finishes there. Well done. I'll catch a word with Joel and Luca. Well done, Luca. Another win for you. Does that, does that one mean more to you than any of the other ones, or are they all just as special as each other? Wow. Wow. This is amazing. Now, what is your favourite stroke, Luca? Um, my favourite is the uh, first gel, and we've done the back stroke before. Well, well done on another title. Enjoy the rest of your night. Well done. Uh, well, thank you very much for, uh, for Nuri. And Carl, my coach, and thank you. Well done, Luca. Congratulations. Come on over, Joel. You keep doing these whopping big PBs on me every night. One and a half seconds tonight. Are you just loving these night swims? Is that where you perform your best? Oh, yeah, I always save it for the finals. So you're purposely going a little bit slower in the morning just to save your energy? Oh, yeah, just a little bit. That's a good way to do it, I think. When you've got the luxury of getting into the final and then really you want to give it everything you've got. See, anyone else now, last time you missed a couple of people, is there a couple more people you need to thank tonight? Oh uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you to my brother. Uh, they always watch me at night when I'm doing my races. And also another thanks to my mom who came down yesterday to watch from ages away with like a six hour drive. Oh, good on you, mum. Well done on another win, Joel. Congratulations.
Next up is the C final of the women's 200 meter. Uh, no, what have we got? The 200, the 50 meter backstroke. Here we go. They don't want to do 200. Paige Stringer, zero. Holly Stanford, one. Mia Booth, two. Eleanor Saunders, three. Sophie Perry, four. Annabelle Scott, five. Anna McLaren, six. Anna, uh, Isabella Muldoon, seven. Abigail Evans, eight. Annika Yeldon, nine. And coming into the last five metres, it looks like it's Sophie Perry or Annabelle Scott. It is Sophie Perry in 30.08 right on the touch most of these swimmers here this evening going faster than their heat swims this morning next up the b final of the women's 50 backstroke Lane zero, Breeze Van Vel, who's in one, Olivia Wheeler, two, Georgina Bell, three, Charlotte Cole, four, Kasia Stokes, five, Arissa Liu, six, Mia Stanley Hunt, seven, Scarlett Bassett, eight, Lola Lowry, nine, Chloe Newbigging. Sub 29 there for Kasia Stokes, she looks pretty happy. Introducing the A finalists of the women's 50 backstroke. Lane zero, Amelia Duff. Lane one, Isabel Gibson. Lane two, Amber George. Three, Savannah Eve Martin. Lane four, Helena Gasson. Five, Emma Godwin. Six, Liv Peebles. Seven, Pippa Mihaka. Eight, Riley McBride. Nine, Molly Shivnan.
Some real talent in this A final. Helena Gasson takes him down the first link. Emma Godwin in lane five alongside her. Not much in it. Just 0.2 of a second at the turn. Helena Gasson with her trademark underwater comes out on in front. She's going to win this. Second's going to be interesting. Savannah Eve Martin from Coast in three. They go for the wall. Godwin gets the silver. Eve Martin gets the bronze. And it's another win for Helena Gasson. 27-1. Congrats, Helena, on another win, 27-1. That was a pretty sharp time. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm definitely struggling with my uh, backstroke speed right now. So I, would, I wanted to go 26, but hey, it's all good. It was nearly there. It was nearly there. So from here, your training, uh, you, tell us a little bit about your training. You do most of it at, uh, at uh, Hibiscus Coast. You do, do some elsewhere? Yeah, we do three sessions down at Millennium, but most of our trainings and all our gym session is up at Northern Arena. Is the pool big enough now with that size of that team up there? <laughs> yeah, no, we've got, um, we've got an eight-lane pool and a seven-lane pool, so we're pretty lucky with what we've got available out at Northern. Yeah, they love their swimming. Good old Matt and, and Mark. Well, well done on another win. All the best for your relay. Thank you. <laughs> Moving now to the next event on the program, introducing the women's 50 backstroke multi-class. Lane one, Amber Proudfoot. Lane two, Charlotte Murphy. Lane three, Melissa Donahue. Lane four, Ella Ben. Lane five, Chloe Gladwin. Six, Erin Knox. Seven, Riley Sayer. Eight, Brooke Anderson. About four or five different impairment classes uh, racing in this one final and three different titles to be won. Ella Ben in the orange cap leads the race down, followed by Erin Knox. And uh, the, there's almost not, well, the, the two in the same impairment class are Brooke Anderson eight and Amber Proudfoot in one. Ella Ben coming through to touch the wall first. She did a 37-2 this morning. That's a great time for her. Chloe Gladwin, 39-5-7's gone underneath her. 40 from this morning. Riley Sayer, 41-91. Let's have a look at that time. 
Note just outside Jane Fox's one. And what have we got here? Charlotte Murphy, 56.29. That is a new, I think we did the time this morning, didn't we? Let's have a look. 56.75, and that's underneath. So Charlotte Murphy has done a New Zealand record again tonight. Well done, Charlotte Murphy in the S6 category. So I'll get the wonderful people in this office here to tell me who I need to talk to and chat to. Melissa, Chloe, and we've got one more to come. Here comes Melissa. Chloe Gladwin, I missed out talking to Chloe yesterday. Here she is, come in Chloe, don't be scared of me. Come a bit closer. Well done, congratulations. Were you happy with that time? That was faster than this morning, wasn't it? You did 40 this morning, 39 tonight. Uh, do you want to look in that camera and say hello to anyone that might be watching? Is there anyone at home watching this, this YouTube? Yeah, my dad and my sisters. Dad and sisters, hi. She's won gold medal. Congratulations, well done. Melissa, come on in. Nice work. Now, is this the best win you've had this week, or are they all the same? They're all the same. They're all the same. And was that faster tonight than this morning? A little bit slower. A little bit slower. Oh, well, you still won the gold. Congratulations. Well done. And Ella Ben, come in and Ella. Now, you went faster as well, didn't you? Yeah, my teammate did that just before as well, so I thought I had to match her a little bit. You absolutely have to. It's quite good when you see good races before yours. Does it inspire you? Oh, yeah, definitely. I was so proud of her for doing that race, so I thought... Yeah, might as well try and, you know, top her a little bit. Well, you're making a habit of that. Well done, Ella. Congratulations. And we're going to take a break now. Quick commercial break and we'll be back for the men's 200 metres butterfly. Welcome back in the next event on the program, the 200 Butterfly for men and the sea finalists are ready to swim. Zero, Jack Potier. One, Nick Close. Two, Orlando Hardy. Three, Nathan Walker. Four, Paul Kim. Five, Chris Smithers. Six, Zach Baker. Seven, Alex Willis. Eight, Eric Yuan. Nine, Rye Luff. And through the first 100, lane five, Chris Smith has taken us out to 101.37. 
followed closely by Alex Wills in lane seven. Starting to look a lot stronger here in lane five as Chris Smith is really taking his time through that first hundred, setting himself up nicely for this third 50. But as we mentioned, the third 50, it is Nick Close having a great little split there, well faster than the rest of the field, 33-48 to put himself right back into the race. And as they come into the last five metres, it looks like Nick Close has just done enough to hold on here. It's going to come right down to the touch. No, it will be Alex Wills in lane seven, right on the touch, 0.25 of a second to take out the C final. Next up, the B finalists of the men's 200 fly. Lane zero, Luke Gibson, one, Curtis Malsop, two, Joel Veron, three, Sam Kenny, four, Peter Karadzjov, five, Na Nael Roo, six, Jacob Lewis, seven, Kinnan Brokusen, eight, Flynn Grace, nine, Carwin Lee. Nael Roo, our visitor, leads the way through and doing well over there is Curtis Malsop of Neptune. Yeah, really smooth looking stroke there by Curtis Malsop, really nice high hips at the end of that recovery process. But it is all Niall Rue out here at the moment, looking really good. Coming into this 150 metre mark, almost the whole body length on the field. Yeah, Curtis Melsop sort of leading with the chest, doesn't he? Really high arm turnover in the recovery, and leans in with the chest to keep the hips high. Absolutely, but a great turn there by Sam Kenny of Coast, really put himself back in the hunt here. The two visitors, and it's either going to be Melsop or Kenny. Melsop gets there.
And Nail Roo, very happy with that performance from Tahiti, 205.08. Introducing the A finalists for the men's 200 metres butterfly. In lane zero, William Campbell. Lane one, David Zhu. Lane two, Joshua Toysuta. Lane three, Will Rick Kutsia. Lane four, Ben Littlejohn. Lane five, Joel Crampton. Lane six, Blair Helms. Lane seven, Sam Brown. Lane eight, Thomas Wilkinson. Lane nine, Daniel Craigting. Well, Ben Littlejohn, his trademark kind of goes out pretty quick. Let's see how he does it tonight. He was a tad rattled in that turn of freestyle when Zach Reed sort of stuck with him from the beginning, but already Littlejohn goes out looking relaxed through this first 50. And this time, Wilrick could see it, not letting him get away from him too much as he did in the heats. But almost the exact same 50 split for Ben Littlejohn, I believe it was a 25.01 this morning, 25.02 this evening, so fantastic. You know, as you were saying, looks very relaxed, very re um, comfortable, a lot of effort coming out of that kick early in the race, relying less on those upper body muscles and bringing that in as the race builds on, but Warwick Kurtz here, of course, as you said, not going to let him get away from him, but half a second there on that second 50 split between the two swimmers. And Wilrick Kutsia owns, still owns the New Zealand 16 year old New Zealand record. <laughs> Joel Crampton, he's right there as well. Third at the moment, Blair Helms right on his hip. And now you start to see Wilrick Kutsia just starting to creep up a little bit with 50 metres to go on Ben Littlejohn. Who's done the work here? Absolutely, this is about the spot this morning where we saw Ben Littlejohn start to slow down, maybe a little bit of that early in speed got to him, or it was just the heat swim, but Laura can see him right there coming into this turn. The last 50 split, he almost had half a second change, so it's going to come down right to the touch by the looks of it. Ben Littlejohn's going to have to really dig deep here, and he has. Wilrick could see it, just fatiguing a little bit here. Littlejohn will win it, could see it gets there. What a race. And I think I could see Warwick say, ow. That's how we felt watching as well. A tough event. And two very, three very tough competitors in the middle getting the podium spots there. 156 for Little John wins it. And you could just see the fatigue on the top athletes. Well, through their arms, through the, the body position there, but they managed to grit their teeth through that final 25.
I mean, the thing is, Matt, you really want to be in that position. You want to make sure you've left nothing on the track, don't you? Absolutely. A lot of swimmers taking their time to get out of the pool really goes to show how hard that 200 butterfly is. A few swimmers sitting on the side. We've got a thumbs up and then a collapse on the side of the pool over there. So, Who's that? Is that Bill Campbell over there? Yeah. He's okay? You need help, mate? You okay? Just still catching his breath, Ben Little John. Mate, I'm tired just watching that. Uh, well done. A win. Yeah, I mean, goodness. Uh, a win, absolutely. Um, thrilled to get it done. It's a special, I don't know, it's, it's a big challenge for anyone to get up for a two fly, but I find mentally, it's always a big ask to get in, mentally commit to the race, and be, be present the whole way through. It's a big ask. That final 25, I could see that you know you're tiring into that last turn. Uh, you had a fast finishing. Uh, Wilrick could see it, and then he was hit with some fatigue in that last 25, and you managed to hold on. It was a great one to watch. Yeah, uh, no, like mad respect to Wilrick. He came out with me, attacked through the race, um, and it's it's always on the last 25. It's just you throw everything you have at the wall and hope it sticks. Um, and so, really pleased it worked out. Can I ask you what you enjoy about the Tour of Butterfly? <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I enjoy the first sort of 60 meters where it feels really nice. You're flying over the top, feels great. Um, I enjoy the challenge of having to better yourself and attack the last, the last half of the race, even when it's all working against you. And the gold medal, I guess, too. Yeah. Well done, Ben Littlejohn, winner of the Tournamitas Butterfly. That looked what that was a hard race, that one. Move now to the next event, the event 32, the women's 200 metres butterfly C final. C final of the women's 200 meters butterfly lane zero, Catherine Sonnison, one Annabelle Grenfell, two Isla Marsh, three Olivia Sweetman, four Jamie Fisher, five Holly Nelson, six Kaylin Tweedy, seven is Alana Rawson, eight Phoebe Nettle, and nine Trelise Choate. Well, after a fast start by the visitor in six at the halfway mark, it is Jamie Fisher from Enterprise who takes the C final through. Isla Marsh doing well out there in two, Olivia Sweetman alongside. And that was a good turn and some good underwater work by Marsh. She's starting to challenge for the win here.
Just starting to sense those hips dropping a little bit in lane four, Jamie Fisher. Where well, as you can see the hips there of Isla Marsh. Just that little bit high, but they turn together. She's really gutsing it, Jamie Fisher. And Olivia Sweetman. Olivia Sweetman coming through in the final 25. Great win for her. And the B final is behind the blocks, ready to swim. B final of the Turner Butterfly for women. Tiontil Vido in zero, Sophie Barry in one, Santi Miller in two, Maya Adams in three, Amelia Finer in four, Charlie Twos in five, and sorry, in, in five, six, Chloe Peters, seven, Nicole Lockie, eight, Zoe Wilkinson, nine, Kate Wheeler. Chloe Peters in the B final here, lane six. She leads half a body length over Charlie Twos from coast. And Neptune's Nicole Lockie right there, all between lanes five and seven, the action at the moment. 50 metres to swim, the all important last 50. Charlie Two is digging deep here. But Chloe Peters is going to close this one out for the B final. Charlie Two's will get second to the wall. And Nicole Rocky gets there. There's the result, and a one and a half second margin to win that B final for Chloe Peters.
Introducing the A finalists of the women's 200 butterfly. Lane zero, Lolan Nichols. Lane one, Ruby Matthews. Two, Grace Bake. Three, Ismay Patterson. Four, Jacinta Isam. Five, Neve Tasaka. Six, Samantha Wilson. Seven, Brooke Swan. Eight, Olivia Emmett. Nine, Evie Skidmore. We're looking at the paper here, Matt, there's really not a lot in it. The, the visitor 214.52 have got two of the women on 215, a couple on 216, and then out from there, it's finals time, so really anything can happen. You'd bank on Neve Tusker's experience here in this event and be able to pull through when the pressure's on. And she goes through first, under 30. Absolutely, and we always seem to be talking about Neve Tusker when it comes to the 200 butterfly. You know, quite often you see her sitting with the pack through that first 100 and then really making her move over that, that last half of the race. So it's great to see her here going out nice and strong, setting the tone, setting that pace early on and making the rest of the field chase her. You wonder what her game plan, her tactic is tonight. Uh, I guess it's like a Zach Greed, you wait to a certain point and then at some point you've got to trust and go. And, and also probably observing what's going on around you to a certain degree in this event. Absolutely, and I think in the 200 Butterfly as well, a lot of the ability in the 200 Butterfly is to, to hold that pace over the 200, you know. Not, not often are people really able to pick it up and go. It's that ability to hold on to that stroke, hold on to that pace. And as we say that, Esme Patterson over there in lane three doing a great job. Well, a 59 low in the 100 metres butterfly match. She's got the speed. Does she have the endurance? Can Neve Tasaka uh, respond here? Esme Patterson starts to go. And Esme Patterson, the only swimmer on that lead under 34 seconds. Neve Tasaka up in that 35-3, so not quite the closing power we usually see from her, but it is all Esme Patterson right now. Esme Patterson for the win here in the 200 metres butterfly A final. No one's going to catch her. She looks very strong. Coming down in lane three, the visitor trying to hold on, Jacinta Isam. But it'll be Esme Patterson for the win and a title in the 200 metres butterfly, 211.97. Second for the Kiwis will go to Samantha Wilson, third to Neve Tasaka. And a big smile on the face of Esme Patterson, second in the 100, she wins in the 200. And that work down south obviously paying off. Congratulations, Esme. What a swim. That big smile on your face at the end. <laughs> Tell us how you feel. Um, happy. 
heavy, yeah, really heavy. I, um, it was nice to get down to a time um, similar to world, so I think <laughs> confidence for me, that's good. <laughs> Is that a PB by, PB by quite a margin? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You must be really happy with the way you brought that race back. It was pretty even, Stevens at the halfway mark, and then you really powered off. Was that part of the plan to kind of put the foot down at some point? Yeah, I definitely knew I needed to nail that third 50 and then just whatever I had left on the last one. Well, well done. Gold medal for you. Congratulations. We'll be back after this break where Matt and I will wrap up the first half of the session, then we'll get into the medal ceremony. Well, man, an exciting first half of the session. We started with the splash and dash on the back, and then we went into the gruelling 200 metre butterfly, starting with that spectacular performance by Andrew Jeffcoat getting that New Zealand record. Absolutely, got the night off to a fantastic start. 23:36, I believe, was the time. So really great to see. You know, fantastic to see someone coming back from great form a couple of weeks ago. Those long course swims over at World Chance, and Andrew Jeffcoat able to you know match that here, showing great form short course as well. A really strong underwater swimmer and just showing his class that the, the stroke rate in that race was just above and beyond everyone else. He looks like he's having fun too, and he's even cheekily saying he, he reckons he can lower it again in the relay tonight, so I'm looking forward to that one. Charlotte Murphy lowering her S6 50 backstroke uh, New Zealand record as well. Well done to her. Helena Gasson winning that 50 back quite convincingly. 27-1, she said she's you know, struggling a little bit with her backstroke form, but boy, 27-1, still pretty good, great underwater work. Yeah, she might be struggling with the form, but definitely not struggling with her speed. You know, 27-1, you know, only half a second outside her own national record, so nothing to be, nothing to be worried about there, I think. And, and as you said, winning by a solid margin, so you know, great to see her back in form. And that 200 metres butterfly, that was one of the most exciting events I've watched this championship. So, so gruelling, uh, and just you could... <laughs> visibly see the fatigue on a lot of these swimmers, which is natural in, a, in an event like this. Absolutely, and Ben Littlejohn really took it out to the, to the race there, really set that pace nice and early, and I think a lot of the, a lot of the other competitors got caught up in, in chasing, and I think that played into his race plan a little bit, make them go out and chase you, and it tired them out a lot more than it seemed to tire him, so. Yeah, great win for him, and he was stoked, but very, very tired, and then we've just seen Esme Patterson, that was a class act, uh, it's training out of that that great distance program down in Neptune, Otago, and it really showed tonight with that strong back end. Yeah, absolutely. Seemed to be making the best out of the more difficult races and those 400 IMs and those distance freestyles and that 200 butterfly down there in Dunedin. So, you know, fantastic to see a really quality back half of that race. You know, not maybe we weren't expecting so much, you know, outside of the other swimmers. So, fantastic job. Well, that's a wrap for the first half. We'll be back after this break for the medal ceremonies for those events. Apollo Projects is New Zealand's trusted specialist for the design and construction of sports, aquatics and education centres and is proud to be the principal sponsor of Swimming New Zealand.
Well, welcome back. We're going to get underway with the medal ceremonies very shortly, starting with the 50 backstroke. And in third place, it is Zach Dell. 24.25 from Club 37. Cooper Morley wins the silver. 24-1 from North Shore. And in a new New Zealand record time of 23.38 from Club 37, it's Andrew Jeffcoat. And the medals for the 50 backstroke multi-class, the bronze to Bailey Conlon, 35.94. The silver medal, Jack Bugler, 32.60. And the gold medal, to Guy Harrison in a time of 36 and 99. And the medals for the 50 backstroke, S18. The silver to Joseph Blake, 56-22. And the gold medal to Luca Willems, 50.23. And the medals for the 50 backstroke, S19. The silver to Denver Xavier, 34-24. And the gold to Joel Watkins, 32-13. Medals for the women's 50 backstroke. The bronze medal to Savannah Eve Martin, 27.92. The silver to Emma Goodwin, 27.84. And the gold medal, Helena Gasson, 27.16. And now the medals for the 50 backstroke women multi-class, the bronze. To Riley Sayer, 41.91. The silver medal, Aaron Knox, 37.98. And the gold. to Ala Ben, 36.94. Now the 50 backstroke, women's S18, goal to Melissa Donahue, 54.84. And the 50 backstroke 
S19 to Chloe Glodwin in a 39.57. Time for the medals now for the men's 200 butterfly. The bronze to Joel Crampton, 158.37. The silver, Warwick Kutzia, 157.84. And the gold, in a time of 156.61, Ben Littlejohn. And in the women's 200 meter butterfly, Medals, the bronze, Neve Tasica, 215.40. In the silver position, the visitors' silver to Jacinta Isom. And the New Zealand silver to Samantha Wilson in the 215.40. And the gold medal from Neptune, Isme Patterson at a time of 2.11.97. Thanks again to Allproof Industries being our medal ceremony sponsors for this meet. We'll have a quick break and then we'll get back into the action with the men's 100 metre breaststroke. Apollo Projects is New Zealand's trusted specialist for the design and construction of sports, aquatics and education centres and is proud to be the principal sponsor of Swimming New Zealand. Well, welcome back, and thank you to Matt Hutchins for reading through our medals. We start now with the men's 100 metres breaststroke. The C finalists coming onto pool deck. Teva Gihan, the visitor in zero, Finley English in one, Nemanja Makovic in two, Nicholas Cow in three, Mahuta Gemmel in four, Joseph Shin in five, Alwyn Bayo six, John O'Swanipole seven, Emlyn Clayton eight, and Ollie McDermott Jones in nine. Mahuta Gemmel off to a great start in lane four here, the C final of the men's hundred breast, as is Teva Gihan, the visitor in zero.
the 15, 15 year old Mahuta Gemmel did a 10617 this morning. Fast finishing, Nicholas Cowan nearly gets there. 105.09. And some great times across the board there for eight swimmers going faster than this morning. The B final is up next. B final, zero, Oliver Morton, one, Joshua Arevalo, two, Sean O'Connor Close, three, Cameron Carpick, four, Benson Lee, five, Blake Faliafa, six, Joe Rayha, seven, Riley McGurr, eight, Jack Keeper, nine, Caleb Ludlow. New Zealand 14-year-old age group record holder Cameron Carpick in lane three, the youngest in the field by a couple of years. Let's see if this, uh, the faster guys in the middle lanes can drag him through to another New Zealand age group record. Leading at the moment in lane four, it is uh, Benson Lee and his teammate Blake Foliafa, the two North Shore swimmers, leading this B final. Foliafa takes it through with 25 metres to go. And Benson Lee, he's gonna, he's gonna grab the win from his teammate here. He's come back strongly. A Introducing to you now the A finalists of the men's 100 metres breaststroke. Lane zero, Leo Arrowsmith. Lane one, Jacob Story. Lane two, Wilrick Kitsier. Lane three, Blair Helms. Lane four, Hara Hughes. Lane five, Lachlan McKenzie. Six, Eli Litton. Seven, Tom Drever. Eight, Jackson Kennard. Nine, Josh Pickett.
The 17 year old in lane four, Hara Hughes. Can he make this a national title tonight? He's won multiple age group titles, but it's all on the line tonight. In lane three, Blair Helms, the 200 metre champion, starts to make a bit of a move here, as does Josh Pickett in lane nine. Josh Pickett goes through first, 27.94. And I think it's gonna be important to keep an eye on here, out in lane nine, Josh Pickett. The national champion over the long course distance, not a great swim by him this morning by any means, so a lot of outside smoke, having a nice swim here. Come. Josh Pickett, can he hold on? 43.82 through the 75, Pickett coming home. Pickett well out in front at the moment in lane 9, Blair Hounds challenging him in lane 3, Wilrick Kutsi is here as well. Pickett wins it from lane 9, 1 minute point five six. Helms takes the silver, Kutsia the bronze, and the first time we've seen a win from lane nine. The sleeping giant in the heat with a 103 1 1. Fooled everyone. And he's going to be nice and close to an interview here, straight out of the pool. Here with Josh Pickett, gasping for air. <laughs> Absolutely shattered, Josh, well done. How are you feeling, mate? Yeah, I'm a bit buggered, but happy to come away with the win from the outside lane. That seemed to be the game plan, was it? A, a bit of a cruisy 103 this morning, get yourself just in the final, but just, that was a bit of a gamble. But uh, to be hidden away in lane nine must have been quite handy for you. Yeah, it was a bit of a risk, but I'm not really fit enough for two solid 100s yet, so. Yeah, had to take the risk, but yeah, obviously it paid off, so. Fast finishing, uh, Will Rick could see it in Blair Helms. He obviously had the, he was coming down fast, but there was, uh, there was only just enough pull there for you to win. Well done. No, thank you. But more training required, but <laughs> thanks. Good man, Josh Pickett, title holder, 100 breaststroke. Next up is the men's multi-class 100 metres breaststroke. Introducing these swimmers now, lane two, James Hayden. Lane three, Joel Watkins. Lane four, Asher Smith-Franklin. Five, Joseph Blake. Lane six is Denver Zabier. Seven, Bailey Conlon. Now Asher Swam of 114 this morning as New Zealand record 111.70. So he's already taken off a lot quicker than this morning. James Hayden, the breaststroker, specialist as well in lane two. Three SB14s in the field. 
We've got Zavi, uh, Denver Zavi and Joel Watkins swimming for the win here and Joel Watkins leading at the halfway mark. A split of 33.05, this is a good split here for Asher. He's got a good rating going too. Hopefully drag James Hayden through to a good time. It's going to be close. I think he's going to do it. 111.44. Yes, he's done it just by 0.2 of a second. Well done, Asher. New Zealand record, 111.44. The old mark, 111.7. And let's have a look at James Hayden, 115.11. And it'll be Joel Watkins for the win in the S19. And Joseph Blake coming through to win S18. Bailey Conlon's gone four seconds faster than the, this morning. Good on you guys, well done. Good on you, Asher. Come on a bit closer. We'll come over this way. Uh, so 114 this morning. You must be. You taking that one a little bit easier this morning? Uh, I was pretty pretty rough this morning. So yeah, I was pretty exhausted. 111, just 0.2 of a second. Uh, you've got a real knack of just sneaking under your own records. Uh, are you happy? What what was what was enjoyable at that one tonight? Sorry. What was enjoyable at that, about that swim tonight? Um, I was just happy that I felt. Much better in the water this time than in the morning. Feeling much better. Well, well done on another national title. I've got my whole page full of them. Well done. Good on you, Joseph. Well done. Now, you were saying your freestyle's your best stroke, but you did pretty well in breaststroke tonight. Are you happy with that performance? Yes, uh, but I'm, I could do a bit, a bit of work within the stroke as well. What sort of things do you think you could do better? Your, your turns or your underwater pullouts and things like that? The underwater pullouts and the turns. Well, go back. Who's your coach? What's your coach's name? Matt Wolf. Matt Wolf. Time to do some underwater coaching. We're keen for it from Joseph. Well, well done. A win's a win, mate. Well done. Good on you, Joel. Another one now. I didn't catch your time because I was looking at uh, Ashes, but was that faster than this morning, like your other ones? Yeah, that was definitely faster. What time did you do tonight? Uh, 119. 119. So that's a lifetime best for you? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Well, the streak continues for you. Have we got anything else tonight, or is that you done? Oh, uh, yeah, I have some more shout outs as well. Um, so there's Ryan down there. He's wanted a shout out. Uh, and Emma, um, and also Mitchell. You're going to have to bring a pad next time. Yeah, I'm thinking about writing on my hat. Yeah, write them on your hand. Okay, well done, Joel. Nice work. Okay, that concludes event 119. We move now to event 34, the 100 meter breaststroke for women, and the C finalists coming on the pool deck.
Sophia Harris in zero, Louise Eccleston in one, Alicia Wong in two, Izzy Parmenta three, Emma Morton four, Hannah Sampson five, Tori Grout six, Lola Lowry seven, Maya Kettle eight, Sarah Jamieson in nine. The C final of the women's 100 breaststroke. Alicia Wong coming through to win the C final from lane two, 11466. Two second improvement from this morning. And second goes to Tori Grout, third to Izzy Parmenta. On Paul Deck now, the B finalists of the women's 100 breaststroke. Maisie Penman in zero, one, Sophia Molnar, two, Kate Hurley, three, Bianca Chan, four, Mia Ryan, five, Abby Davidson, six, Bridie Quayle, seven, Paige Franklin, eight, Meg McLaughlin, nine, Hannah King. And almost nothing separating my Ryan and Abby Davidson there, but a great pull out by Abby Davidson just inching a slight bit ahead coming off that wall, almost touching exactly the same. But as Mia Davidson, the visitor, clawing her way back over that 25. Yeah, let's look at that again, Matt. Yep, it's a good pull out indeed. Gets that little bit of ground after every turn. And it set, her, set herself up nicely for the final 25, but she's getting swallowed up now by Bianca Chan. Bianca Chan will win the B final. A fantastic final 25 for her. And look at that second 50, 38. The fastest of the field for Bianca Chan. No surprises there. Moving now to the introduction of the A finalists of the women's 100 breaststroke. Lane zero, Emma Maltzed. Lane one, Helena Hutmeyer. Lane two, Sarah Wilson. Lane three, Lucy McKinnon. Lane four, Monique Wierazowski. 
Lane five, Silika Pratt Smith. Lane six, Melissa Cowan. Seven, Jasmine Lyles. Eight, Alex McIntosh. Nine, Grace Wills. A 107.14 is the New Zealand record, age group record for 16 year old girls. And Zalika Pratt Smith gets away quickly. She takes them through and leads at the moment. Some work to do for Monique Wierazowski. Zalika Pratt Smith attacking this 100 metres. She's got that 200 win. She's just got to keep the speed up. She's got three years on Monique Wierzowski, 19 and 16. The experience starting to show now. Salika Pratt-Smith holding on here. Can Monique Wierzowski respond? 25 metres to go, she's going to have to do it quickly. Zalika Pratt-Smith coming for this win. Really showed some class. Just starting to tie up a little bit. Monique Wierzowski coming quickly. But it'll be Zylika Pratt-Smith that wins it. 107.61, just 0.3 of a second in it. Wierzowski gets the silver. Cowan ducks under 110 for the bronze. Zileka, you can't wipe that smile off your face. Talk to us. I was not expecting that at all. I'm just so happy and couldn't have done it without my coach, coaches and teammates and everyone that supported me. You look like you just went for it from the get-go. You, you really were hungry for that win from the, from the start. You led from start to finish. Um, you probably knew with Monique alongside you were going to really have to, to get the speed up early. Is that sort of your tactic? Yeah, I've been working on my speed a lot. Um, I did really want this, but I'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself and just enjoying the process more. So, yeah. 107.6, is that sort of beyond your wildest dreams in terms of getting down to that time? Well, Michael thinks that I go 106, so one day, I think. Michael Weston, you'd have to be a little bit patient there, buddy, for a 106. She's done well. Well done for a win in the 100 breaststroke. Move now to the women's multi-class 100 breaststroke. In lane four, it is Melissa Donahue coming out now.
Melissa Donoghue in the water here. She's had a very busy program. And clearly the only one in this 100 metre breaststroke through the heats and finals. Swimming on her own, not easy. A 2.43.0. Her entry time is a bit quicker than that, so we'll see if we can get, get her back down to where she entered. She's straight on that black line. You can see that through the shot on the uh, on the telly there. Keeping it nice and even, not wasting any time going across from one side of the lane to the other. Being careful with her touches and making sure those hands are nice and flat on the wall at the same level. Quite a few more rules and regulations with breaststroke than some of the other strokes. And a 158 through the 75 metre, a 114, I'm going to halve that, I'm going to 37 seconds per 25, so where are we going to land here? About a, one, a 135, a 235, what did we get? A 240 this morning. We could get a three or four second improvement this morning if she keeps this pace up. And just touches under that 240. Well done, Melissa. And a half second quicker than this morning. Congratulations again, you're a very busy woman tonight, lots of races. Now, I was talking to my colleagues, how many times a week do you train? Three days a week. Three days a week, do you do the mornings or the afternoons? Afternoons, because I work in the... Oh, what do you do for work? I'm a learn to swim teacher. Learn to swim teacher, that's fantastic. Fant and, and what sort of age kids do you teach? Uh, preschool and school age. Preschool and school age, that's awesome. And that's at Waterworld there? Now, tell us about, what, what do you do outside of swimming, outside of work, what are your sort of hobbies? I do a lot of cross-stitch. Cross-stitch. Fantastic. Well, congratulations on another win. We'll be back after this break with the men's 100 freestyle finals.
Welcome back now to the C final of the men's 100 metres freestyle. And they're ready to roll. C finalists for the men's 100 metre freestyle, zero, Eli Ashby, one, Blake Stredden, two, Alex Esposito, three, James Crosby, four, Joseph Coriardi, five, Daniel Shilcock, six, McAllister Clark, seven, Ryan Elliott, eight, Ryan Quinn, nine, Ethan McDonald. And through the first 50, it is Ryan Quinn out here in lane 8 with the early speed, 24-73, breathing away, away from the rest of the field. But as they come down the final 25, it looks like McAllister Clark might just have the edge into the wall. And it is 51-63. Nearly all of the men there in the middle, faster than their times this morning. Your B finalists for the men's 100 metre freestyle, zero, Bryn Drummond, one, Kiha Desbordes, two, Kala Hall, three, Ryan Peck, four, Brendan Fizzer, five, Fergus Eady, six, Christopher Alsom, seven, Luke O'Connor, eight, Orlando Hardy, nine, Isaac Gear. And it is lane two, Kala Hall, 24.09. There in lane two. comes and it looks like it's Chris Elson here over the last 50 metres did a great job on that third 25 and he's got a solid lead for a 50.16 to take out the B final. Introducing the A finalists of the men's 100 metres freestyle. Lane zero, Cooper Morley. Lane one, Ollie Lutton. Lane two, Hugo Rothel. Lane three, Zach Dell. 
Lane four, Carter Swift. Lane five, Kale Twist. Lane six, Blake Elliott. Lane seven, Jack Hendy. Lane eight, Andrew Newling. Lane nine, William Seymour. Carter Swift away quickly down the first 25. Zach Dell, as usual, alongside. Zach Dell actually leading at the moment. Carter Swift making that ground back now as we approach the halfway mark. Let's look at the split. 22 7 7. It is still Zach Dell. Zach Dell gets it to the wall first. Carter Swift having to work really hard in this third 25. Lane 8, Andrew Newling, the visitor, also right there. Carter Swift takes the lead now with 12 and a half metres to swim. Swift is going to win it. Dell second. 47.55 to win. What a fantastic back end for Carter Swift. 48.0 for Zach Dell. And third will go to Kale Twist with a great final 25 to get the bronze. And that New Zealand record, 47-1-7, so not far off it, 0.3 of a second away. Good on you, Carter. Bit of, bit of nerves, bit of pressure going into this one. I'm sure the 100 freestyle it always is, but uh, your reaction? Yeah, it was, a, it was a little bit ugly, but uh, happy to get away with the win. And then Dell, of course, nearly in the 47, so can't be too mad. Yeah, he actually put his feet to the wall halfway round just by two 100s. Uh, you had some work to do in that second 50. I'm sure you're aware of that, but you really dug deep and took a half second out of the rest of that field in that second 50. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was staying aware of everybody and where everyone was. I know I have a pretty solid third 25 typically, so just put the pedal to the metal on that one. How'd you feel in that last 25? Uh, do you feel in control and, and, and know you had it? Um, yeah, I, I, was, I, I knew I had it. I don't know what Dell had in the tank, so I just put my head down and hope for the best. Well, great swim, 47.50, very, very quick. Nice work, Carter. We move now to the men's multi-class 100 metres freestyle. The first with the Paralympic pathway in lane two, James Hayden. Three, David Beck. Four, Asher Smith-Franklin. Five, Jack Bugler. Lane six, Bailey Conlon.
And lane seven, Guy Harrison. Asher Smith Franklin looking for a 57.71 here. He went a 58 this morning. And he's got a little bit of a. Uh, he's got David Beck right with him here. David Beck's a great freestyler. And Jack Bugler in great form this week. Wanting to pull them through for a PB. Guy Harrison won that gold earlier. First national title for him. He's in the field in lane seven. And look at this, David Beck coming on strong. David Beck. This is a great swim for David Beck. 56.96, he's pushed them all through. A New Zealand record for Asher Smith Franklin, and that'll be a huge PB for David Beck. And Jack Bugler, 58.61 as well. These time, amazing times. David Beck's brought it down two seconds. Jack Bugler by half second. Fifty six, and that just is that you start to see that work when there's a few of the multi-class athletes swimming at similar speeds and pushing each other along. Good on you, Asher. Now, that one was a bit different than the rest of them. Uh, David Beck, he had a blinder of a swim. He was coming right up at you. You had to work really hard, didn't you? I oh, yeah. no, that's really hard. I bet you it did, but for 56 seconds, maybe it should hurt, because that was a great swim. Now, I was just talking to Matt. Uh, does that really sort of spur you on? Does that make you go fast when you can see someone in the corner of your eye? Oh, yeah. It's better to have someone next to you to push you on. Well, well done on another title, another New Zealand record, Asher, well done. Next up is our second multi-class final. Introducing in lane three, Luke Willems. And he's pumped up in lane four, Joel Watkins. Lane five, Denver Xavier. And lane six, Joseph Blake. And Joel Watkins, you heard what he said earlier, he likes to go faster at night and he's done that all the way along. 
It's getting pushed along here by Denver Zavio though. He's going to have to work for it. The two S19 swimmers. A 10422 and a 10436 for these two swimmers. They're very, very close. And now just look at that third 25 for Joel Watkins. He's taken a body length out of Denver Xavier and looking back it's Luca Willems leading the S18s. And sure enough a big, big lower improvement there. 101.73 for Joel Watkins. That's an awesome time. And coach looking on, looks pretty happy, got the thumbs up. And here comes Luca Willems, his time of 1.30 this morning. And he's done a 1.27, great job. And Blake, who did a 1.32, has finished in a, just underneath his time this morning. Well done, guys. We'll catch a word with Luca and Joel again. Joel's probably got all those names written on his arm. Good on you, Joel. 101, that was uh, a trademark lower, a lot lower than your heat time. 104 to 101, can't complain about that. Now, what is, if you were to say, what is your, the, the, the one event that you want to excel in the most, what would that be? Uh, well, I probably would have been the 100 IM, which I've already done, but yeah. You love that one the most. What do you love about that one? I just like how it's got all the different strokes and it makes it a bit easier to like keep track of everything. You had a whole lot of support on the sideline over there. They were yelling really hard with a thumbs up. So uh, well done on another great job. Good on you, Luca. Congratulations on another win. Hey, let's talk about that YouTube channel again. If, if, we, could get a, if we could get an Aqua Black to go on your YouTube channel with you, who would be your number one Aqua Black? Uh, your number one top swimmer in New Zealand. Is there any names that you know? Yes, uh, Cameron Leslie. Cameron Leslie. Yep, absolutely. Do you want to, have, you, have you met him before? You know him? Yes, I do know him. He's uh, amazing. Takes my eye out to category. He is a legend in Paralympic swimming, isn't he? You reckon we should hook you up with Cameron Leslie to get him on your YouTube channel? Wow, yeah. I'll give him a text now and we'll see if we can hook that up. Eh? Well done on your win. Nice work. Thank you, everyone. Next up is the 100 freestyle for women. And it is the C finalists. The C finalists for the women's 100 metre freestyle, zero, Annie Jinkova, one, Danielle Joblin, two, Isabella Muldoon, three, Abigail Evans, four, Nina De Costa, five, Ray Kwan, six, Kitty Yamagami, seven, Lily Humphreys, eight, Millie Bell, and nine, Edie An Ansel. And it is our visitor, Isabella Muldoon, taking this race through the first 50 metres. Opening up a solid half, a solid half of body length here, going into this third turn. Leading the Kiwis in this race, Nina De Costa. There in lane four, Notch 
As they come to the flags, it's going to be a close finish, but I think it will be lane two. Isabel Muldoon taking out this one, 57-61. Looking very happy with that swim, faster than this morning. The B final for the women's 100 meter freestyle. Zero, Anahira Martin. One, Alina Wong. Two, Brooke Miles. Three, Sophie Perry. Four, Madison Kidd. Five, Molly Shivnan. Six, Abby King. Seven, Milana Tapper. Eight, Alyssa Lawson. Nine, Ariana Roberts. And it is the middle lanes, as expected, taking us out. Molly Shivnan leads the way with a 26-74. Madison Kidd with a great third turn there. Swimmers going stroke for stroke as they come under the flags. It's going to be right down to the finish, but it will be Molly Shivnan, 55-77. Not much separating them at the end or over that last split. 29.03 and 29.02 for the two swimmers in lane four and five. Introducing the A finalists of the women's 100 metres freestyle. Lane zero, Lexi Harrison, and happy 21st. Lane one, Laura Littlejohn. Lane two, Emma Godwin. Lane three, Rebecca Moynihan. Lane four, Erica Fairweather. Lane five, Zoe Pedersen. Six, Eva Allen. Seven, Summer Osborne. Eight, Phoebe Nelson. Nine, Jana Mazumba. We'll expect a fast start from Rebecca Moynihan in lane three, and away she goes. And Zoe Pedersen, the two sprinter 50 sprinters. 
Erica Fairweather sits in third at the 25. They're going to have to really get some ground on her. Zoe Pedersen. Zoe Pedersen leading at the moment, I think, into the 50 metres. Let's have a look where the legs. It is Fairweather back in charge now. 26.03 through. Hard to beat Erica Fairweather from here. Zoe Pedersen's going to have to put her foot down. Erica Fairweather come out on top with 25 to go. The race is on for Silver, starting to come through. Emma Godwin. Emma Godwin in charge. Zoe Pedersen coming back strongly for second. 53.91, Zoe Pedersen second. And third to Emma Godwin, fast finishing by four one hundredths of a second. And if you can't beat Erica Furweather to the 50, you're gonna try, it's going to be a challenge. Congratulations, Erica. Well, one more race for the clean sweep. Now, you got some serious speed there. There was only one wall you didn't make first. That was the first 25. Then you hit the second wall first, and then it was yours from there. Um, how much speed do you do in your training? Oh, it's definitely something we've been um, working on recently. I think it helps complement my 200, and 200, 400, 400, 800. So the knock-on effect is just brilliant. <laughs> Was it a case of just staying in touch with those fast 50 metre sprinters and just making sure in the right position? Oh, absolutely. You know, those girls got it from the start. Um, I don't have the speed that they have. I don't have the start that they have. Um, but I'll give them a good run for their money in the second half. 53-7, how, how did you, were you sort of thinking of a time beforehand or just thinking about the win? Um, to be honest, I just was thinking about the race. I think these girls have so much speed and especially Zoe has so much potential. I'm so excited to watch her at Junior Worlds. Um, but yeah, it's just good to be in a race. Well, excuse me, well done, Erica, on another great win. And that concludes event number 36, and now we invite uh, the swimmers for the women's multi-class 100 freestyle to the pool deck. Lane one, Charlotte Murphy. Lane two, Brooke Anderson. Lane three, Melissa Donahue. Four, Chloe Gladwin. Five, Ella Ben. Six, Riley Sayer. Seven, Amber Proudfoot. Well, so many different classes here racing in the same event. Riley Sayer in six. Uh, she owns the S14 New Zealand record at 110.58. She was slightly over that this morning. She did 111.49. But she's taken off 
fast. She's in front of Ella Ben and Chloe Gladwin here, which is an encouraging sign if she wants to do that 110. Ella Ben just got her on the turn there. And some good rating here from Riley Sayer. And of course, we, Chloe Gladwin had that title she won earlier this evening. Ella Ben did a 108.90 this morning. Riley Sayer fighting back hard here in the final metres. Let's see what time we can get here. A 109.40 new New Zealand record for Riley Sayer by over a second in the S14 class. Well done, Riley. And let's look at the other event, uh, other uh, swims here. Chloe, a 110.08, way faster than this morning. S19. And coming in lane two, this is Brooke Anderson, S8. And that's a wrap. Oh no, we've got uh, Charlotte Murphy still coming through. 158.63 this morning. And she touches in a Come in, Riley. Congratulations. Two seconds faster than this morning. I saw that smile come on your face. You're happy with that time? Yeah, I mean, I came in with this uh, with a time of, I think, like 107, which is obviously long course converted. And this morning I did 111. And to go under that 110 just feels really, really good. Is that the first time you've done under a 110, um, so 109, and you've seen a 109 before? It's the uh, same time I did at long course. So to do that here, which actually really makes me realise that I can go way faster in long course now. Well, congratulations, Riley, on a national record. Nice work. And we're going to have an ad break now and come back with the 4x50m medley relay. Welcome back. We resume the program with the men's 4x50m medley relay. There are three time finals and ready to go is time final number one.
Lane 0, Blenheim Swim Club A, North Canterbury A and 1, Nelson South A and 2, Mount Monganui A and 3, Potirua City Aquatics A and 4, Hamilton Aquatics A and 5, Aquablades in 6, Tasman in 7, St Paul's B in 8, and Hokanui Aquatics in 9. And it's all Hamilton Aquatics here through the first 100, a great 28-8 split on that 50 metre breaststroke right there. And some really smooth changeovers, looking to keep nice and control. Obviously, the time finals, meaning you're not, you can always get a medal from this early heat. We've seen it done before, so it's making sure those changeovers are sharp, those times are sharp, keeping that time nice and ready and who knows what will happen. Yeah, they're moving really, really well. This is John T. Sheriffs for Hamilton Aquatics. And it is their A team, and they're well out in front. Take a quick note of that time, 146.57. Coming on to pool deck now is the B final, uh, sorry, the second of the time finals, 4x50 metre medley relay. Tasmania A and Zero, St Paul's in one, Roskill in two, Pirates in three, Tahiti in four, Kiwi in five, Swimbrotterua at six, Tawa in seven, Aqua Gym in eight, and Natai Tuatia swimming in nine.
Nail Roof, Roof for Tahiti. And away goes Keha Desbordes for the visitors. And it is uh, the Pirates team in lane three leading the Kiwis through this time final number two, Zach Alexander. Neo Solomonson coming in lane five for Kiwi. Teva Gehan will win this one for Tahiti. Nick Close and Noah Bromit for Pirates and Kiwi will get one and two. And lane zero over there is Tasmania. We'll get four. Introducing the third time finalists. Lane zero, Pukekohe Swim Club A. Lane one, North Shore Swimming Club B. Jazzy Swim Club B in two. Coast Swimming Club A in three. Lane four, Club 37 A. Five, Club 37B. Six, North Shore Swimming Club A. Seven, Viking Swim Club. In lane eight, United Swim Club. Lane 9, Jazzy Swim Club. And can we see a new New Zealand record for Andrew Jeff Cody? Talked about that turn. Has he nailed it tonight? Let's have a look. Andrew Jeff Cody needing to do a 23.3 something. Three Let's six. have a look. Three sets. 22.99. Wowee. 22.99. And what a way to get the team underway, Club 37. 
I wonder what the world record is. Josh Pickett coming into Carter Swift. Who's coming second? I think it's North Shore or 37, Club 37B. Carter Swift in this butterfly. New Zealand record for this event. We'll get that as well. Michael Pickett, can he do a 21 flat again? New Zealand record 134.86. Can this be a double New Zealand record for this event tonight? Look at Michael Pickett. One thirty-four, a New Zealand record for Club Thirty-Seven. Second will be Club Thirty-Seven. B third goes to North Shore A. And a New Zealand record for Andrew Jeffcoat, twenty-two ninety-nine. Here with uh, Andrew Jeffcoat, 22.99. Must have been a dream to look up at that board and see a two. Yeah, that was pretty special. Um, I've always wanted to go a 22 and to just finally tuck under. Um, you know, I'm on the right side of the double O there, so that's pretty awesome and to do it with the boys. National record for the team, got the cousins here. These boys joined the club to, to be in relays together and this is the first time they've been able to, so it's bloody special to have them and obviously Carter, the American as well. Not too bad from him as well. Hey, look, uh, it's been a dream night for Club 37. Josh winning the uh, 100 metre breaststroke as well tonight and a New Zealand record to top it off on top of a relay win the other night and the record. Uh, what, is it, what does it uh, mean to you, Michael? Oh, you know, it's pretty special. You know, to see Andrew go into that 23 second mark and I always wanted that for a while. And, you know, like you said, this is my first ever comp with my cousin doing relays, so it's pretty special to me as well. And uh, Carter, you know what he's like. Well, round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, Club 37, New Zealand record relay, and Andrew Jeffcoat, New Zealand record 50 backstroke. Moving now to the women's medley relay 4x50 metre event 38 and on the pool deck is time final number one. Selwyn in Selwyn Swim Club in three, Aqua Gym A in four, and Mount Monganui Swim Club B in five. The first of three time finals, the four by 50 metre medley relay for women.
Aquagym A leading this time final number one by quite a margin. That was a great breaststroke leg. They set them up well through this butterfly. And Ava Renner brings in Aquagym to win time final number one. Second to the wall will be Ella Wilson for Selwyn. And Mount Monganui with Kira Allett, third. Time final number two coming on to pool deck. Lane zero, swim zone racing. A one, Tawa swim club. Two, Pukekohe swim club. Three, Mount Maunganui. A four, Aquablades. Five, Jazzy. A six, Hiratonga Sun Devils. B seven, Natai Tuatia Taraika swimming. A and Hiratonga Sun Devils. C in eight. Mount Monganui A doing well in three. This is Jessica Cochran. Change over there in lane three by Mount Monganui Swim Club. Really smooth, not wasting any time getting off those blocks and using that to their advantage to extend a little bit of the lead right away. Strong butterfly leg here. And chasing is lane four, Aquablades, and lane two, Pukekohe. Molly Shipman will bring home Mount Moganui Swim Club. Really strong freestyler, looking to extend that lead. We'll have to keep an eye on her split here. Great rating, Molly Shipman coming in to win the second of the time finals. Lots of crowd support on the pool side as well. 157.76 to win time final number two.
Introducing the third time final teams, Lane Zero, Coast Swimming Club B. Lane one, Tasmania A. Lane two, Club 37A. Lane three, Hamilton Aquatics A. Lane four, United Swim Club A. Lane five, Coast Swimming Club A. Six, North Shore A. Seven, Hedatonga Sun Devils A. Eight, Faranui A. Lane nine, Neptune A. Savannah E. Martin kicks off for Coast. In this third time final, Isabel Gibson, Pippa Mihaka in the middle. Coast currently leading. And Zyleka Pratt Smith, the 50 metre breaststroke champion. And no, no, she was second in that event, but she's still taking the team through and extending this lead. Yeah, great opening 50 by uh, Emma Goodwin there from the head of time with Sun Devils to put them in front. But it is all coast at the moment. Lucky for them, interchangeable, their butterfly and backstroke, Helena Gasson, the butterfly specialist, but the 50 backstroke national champion about to hit the water. Away goes Helena Gasson. Injecting some speed into the middle of this 4x50. North Shore trying to chase Hamilton Aquatics in three with uh, Chloe Peters. <laughs> Zoe Peterson goes into the water in her 50 metre specialist event. And Helena Gaston is putting a 25-9 on that 50 butterfly as you're saying ejecting some great speed into the middle of this relay. Zoe Pedersen, a 25-0 in the 4x50 metre freestyle relay the other night. And they are going to smash the New Zealand record here. And it's a New Zealand record for Coast. They have smashed it, Matt, by four seconds. Six and a half seconds. Wow, six and a half seconds. You're right. And what a swim from Coast. Second went to Hamilton Aquatics, third to United.
come in, come over, come over, girls. Congratulations, a New Zealand record by six and a half seconds. How's that? Um, we, to be completely honest, we knew that we were going to do the New Zealand record. Um, but yeah, it was pretty cool to smash it. Absolutely, 25-9 through your 50 butterfly. I don't know if you saw that, and it must have been very, very quick across the board. Uh, Zylika, what does this one mean to you? New Zealand record, have you got a New Zealand record before in a relay? No, this is the first New Zealand record that I'm in, but yeah, I couldn't have done it with the, without these girls, and yeah, it's just really good. And you've had a wonderful meet doing backstroke, haven't you? Are you happy with your meet? Yeah, definitely. Today was the best day for me, really soaked, and I'm glad that I could swim next to these girls tonight. And the 50 free tomorrow, Zoe, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm just here to have fun. Good stuff. Coast Swimming Club, ladies and gentlemen, New Zealand record holders and winners of the 4x50m medley relay. We'll be back after the break with a quick wrap of the second half of the session and then we're into the medal ceremony. Well, here with a wrap with Matt Hutchins, uh, an exciting second half. We started with the 50, uh, what do we have? The 100 metre breaststroke, Zylika Pratt Smith. She just got that New Zealand record on the relay, but a stunning performance of that 100 breast. Yeah, absolutely. And some great races across the board in the 100 breast, but, but Zylika Smith, really uh, you know, brave race, went out, took it out. She knew Minnie Wierzowski was going to have that front end speeds, and, you know, and she touched first and never looked back. So, a fantastic swim. And the 100 breaststroke, lane nine for Josh Pickett. That was, that was a surprise win. Yeah, I think after this morning swim, we were talking a lot about, you know, you know, was it a bit slow, what was happening, and he really took it out to the race, you know, maybe was out of everyone's eyesight and, and raced his own race right there in lane nine, right in front of us, and it was a great swim for the win. And Asher Smith-Franklin uh, breaking his New Zealand record in the 100 metres freestyle, but also dragging David Beck under the old mark. Absolutely, and a great swim as well. It kind of looked like it was going to be all Asher through that first 50, and David Beck, Great last, you know, uh, 45 metres and really, really push Asher the, the, uh, sorry, the whole way. And I think, you know, going forward, that's going to be a great you know, rivalry in that 100 freestyle uh, over the next couple of years. And Erica Fairweather just too strong for some of the, uh, the sprinters, Zoe Pedersen and Rebecca Boynihan and actually uh, Emma Godwin getting up for a bronze here as well. Yeah, absolutely, and Erica just really showing her class, starting to extend down to those shorter distances. Maybe not quite the front end speed that the rest of the field had, but did enough to have her feet on the wall first at the halfway and really never looked back. And as you said, if you can't beat her to 50, you don't have much chance beating her over the back half of a race. That's right. Then we head to the men's 4x50m medley relay with that absolute stunning start from uh, Andrew Jeffcoat. Yeah, absolutely. Two for one on the national records on that one. Uh, Jeffco went back and, and obviously fixed his turn like he said he would. And 20, 22 99 is absolutely fantastic swim. And, taking the whole team, you know, the whole team really stepped up to take that national record down as well, making it, you know, two for those boys over at Club 37. And then the woman stepped up in a huge margin underneath the New Zealand record. You do wonder, uh, you know, man, six and a half seconds. We've, we've got some real talented swimmers out there at Coast. Absolutely, a really great sprint program as well and showing, you know, not just in, you know, in the freestyles or butterfly, but great diversity. And I think, as I said during the race, the luxury to have you know, the national backstroke champion doing the butterfly leg and, and the interchangeability of those girls you know, really showed. And yeah, six and a half seconds off a national record is a pretty good day by any standard. And we look forward to seeing that 50 freestyle with Zoe Pedersen tomorrow. We'll be back after this break with the medal ceremonies.
Apollo Projects is New Zealand's trusted specialist for the design and construction of sports, aquatics and education centres and is proud to be the principal sponsor of Swimming New Zealand. Well, welcome back. We'll get into the medal ceremonies for tonight's events. We start with the 100 metre breaststroke for men. And presenting medals tonight will be Willie Benson, Aqua Black 217. And uh, just waiting on our team at Swimming New Zealand to give us the thumbs up on a start. But as we spoke about Matt and I, some big splits in that uh, women's 4x50 metre. I'd love to see what the other swimmers did in there. It was a 25.9 for Helena Gasson. We start now with the 100 metre breaststroke ceremony. Hara Hughes wins the bronze, 101.66. Bron uh, sorry, silver medal, Blair Helms, North Shore, 1 minute, 0.66. Is he making his way over? No, we'll go to the gold. Goes to Josh Pickett, 1 minute, 0.56. So he's, he's arrived. Josh Pickett, well done, from lane nine. Next ceremony is for the Paralympic pathway. And third is Bailey Conlon, 124.68 from Te Arawa Swimming. Second goes to James Hayden, 115-11, Club 37. And winning in a new New Zealand record time for S14 is Asher Smith Franklin, North Shore, 111.44. Moving now to the S19 category. S18. And S18, the winner is Blake, uh, Joseph Blake. In a time of 151.96, well done Joseph. Now to the S19 category. Denver Xavier takes the silver, 125.91 from Club 37. And winning is Joel Watkins from Pukekohe Swim Club, 119.85. Moving now to the 100 breaststroke for women. Third place, Melissa Cowan, North Shore, 109.37. Silver, Monique Wierzowski, Aquablades, 107.92. And winning the gold from Coast, Zylika Pratt-Smith, 107.61. Now to the women's 100 breast multi-class, the winner, Melissa Donahue, 239.93 from Hamilton Aquatics. Now to the 100 freestyle for men. Bronze medalist, Kale Twist, 49.09 from Kiwi.
Silver, Zach Dell, Club 37, 4804. And winning the gold, Carter Swift, Club 37, 4755. Now to the 100 freestyle multi-class Paralympic pathway. Third, Jack Bugler, 58-61 from Blenheim Swim Club. Silver, David Beck, Club 37, 57-51. And winning the gold in a New Zealand record time, S14, Asher Smith Franklin, North Shore 5696. And now to the S18 category. Joseph Blake wins the silver. And Luca Willems wins the gold. Next up is the S19 category. Denver Xavier gets the silver in a 1 minute 3.56 and winning the gold, Joel Watkins from Pukekohe in 1 minute 1.73. One Moving on to the 100 freestyle for women. Bronze medal, Emma Godwin, Heratonga Sun Devils, 54.67. Silver, Zoe Pedersen from Coast, 54.35. And winning the gold, Erica Fairweather, Neptune, 53.91. Now to the 100... Freestyle for women, multi-class. Third place, Brooke Anderson, 133.31. Second, Riley Sayer, in a New Zealand record time of 109.40. And winning, Ella Ben, 109.16 from Selwyn. To the S18 category, Melissa Donahue wins from Hamilton Aquatics. And in the S19 class, Chloe Gladwin wins from Fakatane Swimming Club, 110.08. Good job, we move to the 4x50 metre medley men's relay. Third place, Viking Swim Club A. And we've got two teams on the second part of the dais. We've got the Club 37B visitor team. It's going to be a busy dais here. So third is Vikings A, Harrison James, Lachlan McKenzie, Christopher Elson and Zach Baker.
Medals presented by Aquablack Willie Benson and ceremony sponsor All Proof Industries. Second goes to Coast Swimming Club A. I uh, will do Club 37B first. Zach Dell, Eli Litton, Jack Hendy, and Andrew Newling. Coast A is second. Kiwi team, Sam Brown, Wilrick Kutsia, Fergus Eady and Brendan Visser. And winning is Club 37A in a New Zealand record time of 134.77. And that's Andrew Jeffcoat with a new New Zealand record 50 back 22.99. Josh Pickett, Carter Swift and Michael Pickett. And Carter's trying to stare down the camera by the looks of it. Well done to all the guys in the relays. Next up, the women's medley relay. As they make their way onto their dais. Third place, Mount Monganui Swimming Club B. No, that's not who's there. It's the United team. Isabel Gibson, Abby Davidson, Grace Bake, Eva Allen. Second was Hamilton Aquatics, Chloe Peters, Olivia Emmett, Gina McCarthy, and Pippa Mihaka. And winning, Coast in a new New Zealand record time of 150.03. Zoe Pedersen, Savannah Eve Martin, Zalika Pratt-Smith and Helena Gasson. Congratulations to the woman winning on the the dais tonight and all of the other medalists. Thank you to Willie Benson for presenting medals. And a nice little selfie with Gina McCarthy and the team. Well, thank you very much for watching us. Uh, that's concluding tonight's session number eight. And tomorrow morning, we have the Splash and Dash 50 meter freestyle followed by the 200 meters individual medley, which will be popular. Then the time finals in the morning of the 1500 freestyle for men, followed by the time finals of the, 50, uh, the 800 metre freestyle for the women. You can join us tomorrow from 8.30 live for the heats. Thanks for joining us.